Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my channel and like my video. In this video, we will learn about Lisaf uh, to show open internet connections and to show open ports. So first I'm going to uh, start my Python server, HTTP server. So this will be Python 3-M http dot server i'm starting this server so we can uh, look for open port with our list of so our server is started so first time i'm going to uh, use a list of to show process that use internet connection at the moment so this would be this off dash case p dash i dash n and just hit enter so i have these two services uh, using uh, internet connection one is the python uh, uh, server and uh, the other one is the the chrome connected to the internet now i'm going to use uh, list of to show process that use specific port number our service running at uh, 8000 so we will look for that so, ls of dash i tcp 8000 and we get the http server info over here Now we are going to uh, list all listening ports together with the process ID of the associated process. So this will be just gonna clear up and use list of dash uppercase P A N and dash I then T C P i udp and hit enter we get the udb from chrome and the tcp from our uh, python server now we can list all open ports and their only executables uh, by using this command we'll just clear this first List of dash i dash p and then we are going to grab dash i listen so this our server is listening to show all open ports you can use uh, List of dash p and l dash i and this is enter and then clear the terminal and now we can uh, show open port in a listening mode list of dash p and i for and then pipe into grab listen then pipe into column dash t and now i'm going to grab this is a process id so i'm going to show current working directory of a process we can do that by using resolve and dash p and the process id this will be 4238 and then pipe into grab current working directory and hit enter so this one is showing me from where the python server started so the Current working directory of a process. 
So list of is a uh, very useful. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel, Awesome Code. Like my video, keep supporting me, and thank you for watching.